Hello guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rosebud from the Philippines and I live here in United States of America with my Yobo. Say hi Yobo! Hello! What are you doing? Cooking breakfast. Alright, so for today's video guys, I am going to share with you how I got my CR1 visa. So please like my video if you like it and feel free to subscribe to my channel guys so guys um allow me to speak english tagalog og bisaya ka bisaya mantang dako no i am from davao city guys um disclaimer guys wala mi nag attorney we did not have attorney guys kami kami ra gid ni ni art akong bana it was just me and my husband guys who process everything so let's start guys so guys first and foremost i'd like to to read to you uh, about dcf kay mao ni ang ang process sa amo ah dcf uh, stands for direct consular filing okay what is dcf guys it is a procedure that allows a us citizen to petition for his or her immediate relatives directly to the us embassy or consulate in their country. Ibig sabihin guys, si US, si US citizen, which is my husband, pwede siya mo file sa mo file o ganang um, petition for my visa to bring me to the United States of America directly to the US Embassy or consul, or consul in a specific country. Okay, so like me guys, Mm, I live in Thailand. We actually lived in Thailand for quite a while. So, did to me nag-apply sa US Embassy sa Bangkok, Thailand. So, sa, sa website sa US Embassy of Bangkok, Thailand, guys, naadid to mga specific uh, circumstances. Special circumstances that if you qualify, they will accept your petition and process the, the petition for you. So, uh, we fill in the information, guys, in that website, and they replied to us. So they told us to to bring the petition forms, to bring the proof that we are married, um, and the husband will will be interviewed by the consul. So we had an interview date, guys. They gave us an interview date uh, through that email, October 29, twenty twenty one, guys. So, uh, prior to that day, we started to uh, gather our documents, guys, our proof that we are married. And we fill in the information. I mean, we fill out the form, I-130 form. That's the petition for, uh, uh, petition for alien relative. That's I-130 form. And the I-130 form. For the I-130 A form, which is the supplemental information for the beneficiary, which is I am the beneficiary and the and the petitioner is your husband, who is the US citizen. October 29, 2021, guys, that was our um, appointment date to uh, to go to the US Embassy. So no cell phones allowed, no batteries, no cords or anything no cameras so very strict on um, security to say us embassy guys so what we have is like the forms and then um they allowed me also they allowed me the filipina also to get inside the embassy so what happened guys is that um the thai lady there's a thai lady there he checked me among documents and then he told and then she told my husband to pay for the filing fee which is 535 US dollars now for that fee guys you can pay it in cash or using your credit or debit card now um, that filing fee guys is non-refundable I mean run non-refundable meaning whether your petition will be approved or not it is not refundable okay so after we paid guys the consul had an interview with my husband 
di-interview akong husband and it lasted for like 20 minutes. And then, we were also told that in a week or two, we will receive an email regarding the petition and the next step. So, that's it. After the interview, guys, we went home. So, November 3, guys, it was 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, wala lang me. It was just a normal day for us. And then... Yeah! <laughs> so, that's it, guys. It's just a normal day for us, guys. So, we received an email, guys. Nag-email nag ang embassy. Saying na, I am for interview. And on the interview, guys, I need to bring all the civil documents. And also, um, that I'm... I'm already that I should prepare na for the interview, guys. So that's it. So happy ka ayo me, guys. Kay hello. We were told na a week or two among hinta yun, pero like two days lang. Two days lang yun among um two days lang ang pagita na approve da yun me. And I'm all already for interview. So November 5, guys. Um, November 5, we received our. Um, the schedule we we had our uh, schedule for interview date already. That means, pwede na ko magpa medical. So we went to the Bamrong Red Hospital, guys. So it it was very smooth and very fast. They accepted us, even it was walk in lang. They asked for my DS two six zero and my passport, and and after that they asked me what are the covid-19 vaccines that i had already so i had two vaccine uh two sinovac already so what they gave me are three vaccines flu vaccine theta like anti theta vaccine vaccine and hepa hepa vaccine parang hepa a hepa b vaccine and i had also my x-ray test and um, it was a package, guys. It was the package siya for doctors, fee, uh, vaccine, and x-ray. That cost me 7,500 bots. Uh, I'm not sure how much is it in dollars. But it was very expensive, guys. Like, super expensive. Pero, shalan kayo ang, ano guys, shalan kayo ang hospital. Dili basa-basa. And the good thing was, the result was very fast and um, they they told me like after an hour I think that uh, everything was okay and then they submitted already the result to the US Embassy electronically. They only gave me like a paper and a CD of my result. That's it. And then after that guys, we went home. Okay guys, uh, uh, on my interview date now, which is... Um, November 16, 2021. Um, yeah, embassy, guys. No cell phones. Just my documents. So, it was 9 a.m. my my schedule. So, on my passport, butangan lag bar ko na kong passport. So, gipasulud ko nila sa embassy. After that, gi check sa window number 5, immigrant um, lane ang akong documents. So, and then she said, nah, just sit and wait. That's it. No questions, guys. The first window. No questions now about the documents. So that's it. So it took like two hours, guys. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not going to be able to get a little bit of 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 a little Linko dito. So, one of which was like um, a Thai woman. Ang iyang petitioner, guys, ang iyang mother. The petition started 10 years ago. And that was her interview date. So, it took a, it, it took a long time for her para daw sa iyang interview date. And I did not say anything. I just listened to her. And then, she was actually before me guys so she told me she was there already in the embassy 7 30 and it's almost 11 a.m now so ako naman guys i went there 9 a.m 
then na interview ko after niya so i i i had no idea what happened to her interview after her it was nina so gitawag na ginatawag sa microphone ang immigrant guys gitawag akong name so dito sa 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 window na afam ko ako si afam guys actually dua sila isa ka may i think 40s nasa 40 sa kon si consul and beside him is a young young guy i think 20 siguro apprentice guru to niya guys siguro apprentice to niya guys so after that um kipakuha ako mask tapos kipa oath ko ni yes radyo ko guys wa jud wa radyo ko ning yes i do yes radyo siya guys so yes tapos biometrics ganon first question sa ako guys is how long have you been together so answer na ako um almost 7 years it was just a basic question and a basic answer from me guys so next question is um where do you live and and where is your husband located so ang house sa kung husband asa daw so ito wag na ko guys ang full address nakatawa si konsul kay kay memorize ko sa full address pagka human guys ana siya na how long have you been working here in thailand tapos ako for years already and and he asked me if i want to live in the united states he asked me if i want to work in the united states and um he asked me where is my husband as of as, as as of the moment he asked me if si husband ba nasa labas but as um at that moment guys umuwi si husband sa usa because something happens a young mother and then after guys um that's the time so after now it's like five to six questions like actually it was very fast so no computer si consul ganun computer computer lang siya yun alam ko na guys na i will not be given the visa the, on that day so what happened was that he told me um um since you've been working here in thailand though guys um he needed my thai police clearance so that moment guys i knew it two to one jijuku guys that means they will not give me the visa yet it's because my thai police clearance guys it will be the releasing date is no is november 25 November 25, 2021, guys. That's the releasing date of my Thai police clearance. And the interview date was November 16. But the consul said, um, um, don't you worry. We will wait for we we will wait for the Thai police clearance now. So he said that everything is okay. The all the documents are, are are okay. It's just that we needed the Thai police clearance now. So I knew it, guys. But you know, one thing, one thing happened is that gikuha niya akong passport, guys. They took my passport and um, they said that uh, we're just gonna have your passport. Uh, we will wait for your Thai police clearance. That's it, guys. So I said, uh, okay. Um, and then that's it, everything. Uh, and then he said, they, the consul gave me uh, a paper, guys or the 221G letter stating there the documents that I need which is the Thai police clearance and how to send that document to them because there's a specific um, mail at that yun na, na, there, there, there was an instruction there guys how to send it to them so that's it guys so I went back to the hotel where I stayed because I I, I stayed in a hotel very near the embassy which is very cheap guys cheap and and decent sha. so that's it um, i went to the hotel called my husband actually i had a prank <laughs> i told him that i got denied and then he said what 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 you get angry for a while but you know i love so november 25 guys not actually November 25, but November 26 of 2021. I received my Thai police clearance in the mail. So, after that, I 
sent that um, certificate to the embassy. It was actually Friday that I sent it. So they received the certificate, guys, Monday, which was um, November 30. November 30 of 2021. So they received it and actually guys my the status of my visa at that time was um refused meaning there are documents that they needed first before they would issue me a visa from refused uh, it changed to administrative processing and i knew it that that's the moment they that's the moment that they received my certificate now november 30 right the whole day, it did not change, guys. November 30, it did not change. But, December 1 of 2021, um, it was around 9 a.m. I was talking to my best friend in Cebu, who is Ruby. We were video chatting that time. Para, you know, mawala lang sa akong isip ang, ang, ang visa. So, that time, we were like talking and we were like, Mm. You know, kamusta kamusta to each other. And then after that, pag open ako sa ano guys, uh, not really after, but it was during our conversation when I tried to check the status of my of my visa. And I was so surprised that it was issued. So December 1, 2021 guys, it was issued. That means that they are printing my visa already and I am approved already. So I was so happy. Everybody is happy. Art is very happy and it, I am very happy too. The visa on hand uh, was um, December 10, 2021. So it took a while for them to send me the, the, the passport because they actually uh, sent me a package too. Like uh, an, an envelope where all my documents are in there. They told me to give it to the immigration officer in the United States of America. Where, wherever my point of entry. December 13, 2021 is my flight uh, going to United States of America. It was a long flight, guys. Wala ko nag-expect. Very hago. Hago kayo ang beauty. Ganun. Pero uh, it will be my next vlog so i hope you guys to watch it so that's all guys my uh timeline my timeline sa akong visa you know it was very fast we did not expect everything we are very uh thankful to the embassy for helping us and also big thanks to my husband who did everything for me it was just him actually so thanks art Yep. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to Rosebud. She's a riot.